Colleen Shoemaker and Lake Belton entered Friday night's contest at Leo Buckley Stadium hoping to get back to 500 in District 22-5A action. The Grey Wolves suffered a week one loss to Midlothian while Lake Belton lost a tough one to Red Oak. Lake Belton came into the game on the back of five-star wide receiver recruit Micah Hudson while Shoemaker relies on the speedy legs of QB Malachi Jerome and running back Gerard Hicks. The teams did not disappoint early as Lake Belton wasted no time in getting on the board with the touchdown pass from QB Eli Mascarinas to the Texas Tech commit Micah Hudson, who takes the simple screen and races it down the sideline to give Lake Belton an early 7-0 lead. Following another Bronco strike, Shoemaker decided to join the party and get the fireworks going. Senior Gerard Hicks rumbles up the middle to get the Gray Wolves on the scoreboard. Then following a Gray Wolves stop, Hicks shows off his track skills with this Barry Sanders-like run to tie the game at 14. Then following a Lake Belton fumble on the ensuing kickoff, Malachi Jerome hits Jonathan Lehman for another score and just like that, Shoemaker has reeled off 21 unanswered points to take a 21-14 lead in this key district matchup. But not to be outdone, Lake Belton QB Eli Mascarina shows off his skills with this deceptive fake and rumble up the middle to tie the game at 21. The Grey Wolves went to the air as Malachi Jerome hits Isaiah Tanner for a gain and then fires this deep ball to Maurice Starr and we have yet another lead change with the Grey Wolves on top, 28-21. But once again, Lake Belton QB Eli Mascarinas finds you-know-who, that's right, five-star Micah Hudson for the deep ball to the one-yard line, and the Broncos proceed to punch it in to narrow the halftime lead to 28-27 Shoemaker. Lake Belton wasted no time in regaining the lead in the second half as Hudson scores yet again on this pitch and catch from his QB Mascarinas to put the Broncos on top 35-28. As both teams have done all game, Shoemaker now responds with this Gerard Hicks touchdown run, his third of the game, to tie things up at 35. But Lake Belton goes on to avenge last year's loss at home to Shoemaker as Cameron Hamilton barrels in to put the Broncos back on top and more importantly, secure the win and even their record at 1-1. One one. The loss drops Shoemaker to 0-2 in district. We just had some missed opportunities those first two drives. And then after that, we started clicking, and we ended up scoring, I think, 21 straight. And then they came back and tied up, and we were back and forth there to finish out the half. And then, you know, the defense is kind of caught up in the second half, and we just didn't make enough plays, you know, once down the stretch. Tackle made up a play by Brandon Logan. First down, Broncos, from the 33. There was really some opportunities I thought that we could have converted and we didn't, but kudos to their defense because they did a really good job. They loaded up the box and um, they played really good on the perimeter. A lot better than I thought they would play on the perimeter, but you know, we'll get back to, to work and, and we'll do a better job of that. Yeah. 